Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are fine. In this video tutorial I'm going to be making a bag from a crochet top that I've had for many years. And yeah, I'm just going to have a little bit of playtime trying to make this top into a crocheted or net type of bag and yeah I'm, I'm just gonna see how it goes so I have been doing some uh, spring cleaning and as you may already know that a lot of charity jobs or thrift stores and places like that are not taking clothing and you know other items that you may want to give to charity so it just meant that um, that I will just use what I was going to give away. So this is one of the tops that I was going to give to charity and also this bag. Um, I'm just not feeling this bag anymore so I'm going to be taking it apart. So I'm going to be using the handles um, from this bag and the rest of the bag is going to be used in another project so it's not going to go to waste. Um, so yeah, so let's see how this goes. So like I said, I'm going to use the handles from this bag. Obviously, I've got my top. I may need some spare black fabric, but I'm hoping that I don't want to use that. It all depends because the, the holes in this are pretty big, and so lots of things could be falling out of it. But um, yeah, I'm trying not to. I just want to stick with just using the top. So I may have one or two ideas about how I can limit that a little bit. I'm also going to be using a glue gun and a Stanley knife, which is quite sharp. Be careful if you're going to be using a Stanley knife, really, really be careful, please. And some scissors, I've got two pairs of scissors here, and I can't think of anything else. I do have some pins here, but I'm not sure it's going to be of much use with a top that's got so much holes in. But, um, yeah so that's what i've got at the moment so you're going to come along with me on this journey and let's see if this bag actually works i hope it does i haven't done anything like this before so um but I, I love to experiment anyway so and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a person that once i challenge myself it's going to work no matter what because it's so what i want so yes it's going to work um but let's see what happens so let's start with the top first. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee, and I do a lot of refashioning of old or new items and also sewing techniques. So please do subscribe. Don't forget to hit the, no the notification bell in order to receive notifications of when I upload videos. Let's get into the video. So this is the top, as you can see. I'll put a picture of it. Um, I just had a quick try on and no I'm still not loving it anymore I did I did at one point so ah uh, so this is the neck area and that's the bottom and here are the armholes or the sleeves if you like and the top the bottom is quite straight it's really straight across so um, I'm going to be using the bottom for the bottom of the bag, yeah, and the top, even though it looks straight, it's not, it, it, it's on a curve, so I wouldn't recommend doing, using this as it is on the curve, let me just show you, so that's how it would sit, so you can see there's a gorgeous curve there, scoot neckline, so that wouldn't be very good at the bottom neck. Let me just see if I can show you that. I'm not sure. Can you see each of the sides are just dipping down. You really want it to be straight across so it's best that I use the bottom because that is straight as you can see. So we have decided or I have decided that we're going to use the bottom of the top for the bottom of the bag and we are going to put the sleeves inside of the bag and so 
a line straight down and let's see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens and then the handles will be, let's see, on the back like so. I think the tricky part is definitely going to be removing the handles from the bag and oh, it's going to be at least a bit of a challenge. So we'll start with removing the handles first because, you know, sewing isn't going to be that much of a challenge. So I'm going to show you how to be really careful using the Stanley knife and I'm going to be using a glue gun. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what the inside of the bag looks like, but oh, that's one reason why I don't like it because it's it likes to close itself up before you can get your hand in there. Um, but the lining is it's pretty. I like the lining. I like the colour of the lining. Oh, where do I start? Okay. I'm going to start on the back of the bag and I'm going to put a little nip into the bag itself without hopefully interfering with the lining. The lining is pretty firm inside so I can't really separate it. So let's just start with making it a little... I want to remove the shaping, keep the shaping I should say, of there we go. Ta -da! My bag is now handleless. Here are the holes. So this will be used in another project. The rest of this, I'm sure I'll probably get maybe another two projects out of that bag. And here are the handles. I wanted to make sure that I kept the stitching on there. If anyone knows of a, a much more quicker way of doing this, please let me know in the comments. But um, yes, it's interesting when you start to deconstruct items what you find underneath because <laughs> look at that the fabric that was used striker fabric that's nice that's hopefully i'm going to enjoy this project i'm hoping that i don't have too many problems or issues but if i do i will resolve them to the best of my ability so that i have a functioning bag okay so now we are ready to put these onto my crochet top so I will put those to one side so my handles are going to go like so that should be fine and then I'll get my glue gun and stick it on there um I think it's on the back I may yeah I will actually cut some circular shapes out of the back to be the backing to the handles along here. Okay, I have cut the backs to the handle. I now have four. So they will go on the, the back like so. They'll be glued onto like so. I have been thinking though, for the, the fact that it's got so many holes, that's 
in here and when I come to sew down the sides there's not going to be there isn't going to be much stability as you can see look the holes are on the sides they're really big so I've been to my haberdashery store in my studio <laughs> and I've got some black ribbon so what I'm going to do is going to place the ribbon down the side the side seams to the bag okay so this is a size seams if you like of the top I'm going to put my ribbon to the top here and then remember this is the neckline uh, get my pins and then just place my pins into position like so keep going straight down I'll just pin one side and then show you that's a bit that's not straight that's better I'm pinning to nothing to help you here I'm holding my camera with one hand and I put my sewing speed on really slow so that you can see what it looks like as I stitch. So let's just start. I've sewn down both the sides and the bottom of the bag as well. Let's turn this inside out and let's see what happens. Okay, like in the shape, it's okay. That's quite nice actually. I'm narrow at the top. Okay, but I didn't take that much off from the neckline. It's quite long. That's starting to look like a bag shape though. I like that actually. Yes, I think it's going to work. Maybe a little bit on the long side, I think. But I do like that, yes. Yeah. It's just the inside I have to figure out now. Okay, let's turn this to the wrong side. Let's see what we can do with these sleeves. Should I cut the sleeves away? Would I regret it if I do? <laughs> It'd be nice to have some pockets within the bag though, that's what I'm thinking. This is the top of the bag. This is the top, this is where the handle will be. quite like the fact that this it's quite dense here so well, there's quite big holes as well I don't want to necessarily line it you just have to be careful about the items that you put into it isn't it <laughs> okay what I'm going to do is I may I have to, somebody's telling me to just cut off the access which is going to be the sleeves and maybe I could use them in a, another project which would be good or I can make the bag a little bit more dense by cutting here on the inside of the bag and cutting there on the inside of the bag and no, I've given it some thought. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to cut straight down on each side and leave these sleeves for another project. The decision has been made. Get my scissors and I'm going to start cutting from here. Yeah. Just going. 
go quickly. to the wrong side yeah that's nice actually I think it may be a little bit on the long side but we shall see it depends on whether I'm carrying it in my hand or on my shoulders I think but no it's a nice shape little Unusual, but we will go with it. Yeah, this is a position that I want my handles to be. So I'm going to get some paper and just slip it in between, like so, to sandwich that paper in this, so, so that glue doesn't get stuck onto the other side. Just. So it's all nice and neat. So you need your glue gone. That's nice. That should be there. So you're going to need your glue gun and make sure your glue gun is resting on something because you don't want to make, because you can see it's starting to have strings of glue. You don't want that to be messing up your surface at all. And since I know where I'm going to be positioning my um handles i'm just going to fold it back like so and then get some glue and put the glue on top like that just squeeze because it's glue is coming out there just remember this is hot so be careful as you're putting it on And, then it, and it dries pretty quick as well so make sure that you're happy with the positions of your handles and then just give it a gentle press okay let's just whoop, stuck to the paper well, especially that it's stuck to the paper rather than this side of your bag Yeah, that's okay, that's fine. And I'm going to put the backs onto these. Like so. So let's do this pretty quickly. Don't put too much on because you don't want it to go over the edges. You can get little strands as well. Remember that it is hot glue, and then just position that into place like so, and that's hot. And just do the same with the yeah, then just bear in mind that the glue is hot, okay? Here is the bag. Okay. Strong. I've still got the, <laughs> the bag itself in there. And as you can see, it is long. So... It's really long. It's my long crochet bag. Well, I mean, it's way down because of the that's inside of it. So let's take this out. Put it there for a moment. Yeah, it is a long bag. I won't be able to carry it in my hand because it's literally sweeping the floor. But I am happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's a good refashion. I do like it. I 
to show you how long, <laughs> how much it's sweeping onto the floor. See how long it is. So when I've got it on my shoulder, it's to my knees. And then when I'm holding it in my hand, you see it's on the floor. If I wanted to, I could take it up and make it smaller, but you know what, I'm happy with it. I've got a long bag. How many people can say they've got a long bag? I am really happy with that, that's fine. And yeah. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please do give it a thumbs up and please do share. If you've got any ideas for any refashioning projects, please put that in the comment box below. And I will see you next time.